please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Democratizing entertainment, that's what Netflix is all about. Uh, you started as a DVD shipment company, you started as a US only company and today what you're across 130 countries uh, and the international part of your business is growing at a very very fast clip. India priority market, take me through the journey so far. Well, it sounds like you've got it all, Shireen, <laughs> there. Thank you for having me today. It's a treat to be here in Mumbai. And yes, we're continuing um, to invest uh, here in India and continuing to grow. Uh, Netflix just makes TV watching so easy because mm. it's on the internet. You get to pick what shows you want to watch. You get to stop and pause them. And they're just... Uh, That's so not entirely true. You don't get to stop and pause. I mean, what, what is binge watching and binge racing about then? I mean, you, you've taken control, right? <laughs> you know, binge watching is a funny story because um, the term comes up of being able to watch a series all night long. Yeah. Um, and when it first came up, we tried to suppress it mm. because uh, binge was sort of too dark. And, and we tried to get people to say feast viewing or something uh, you know, very nice sounding. And of course, nobody liked that. They liked the darkness and binge viewing became an epic term mm. despite our best efforts. And public binging in India, I believe after Mexico, India ranks number two on the Netflix survey uh, on public binging, right? That's right. Public binging is watching on your mobile, um, you know, on the buses, <laughs> on the train, taxis, on the plane. On the train. Um, and so it's got its own certain protocol of what you show and what you don't. So 1997, let me take you back, uh, Apollo 13, your VHS goes missing, $40 rental uh, cancellation or late fee or whatever that's the right. case may be. You didn't want to tell your wife about that. And that's how the Netflix idea came about. Did you ever imagine that you'd be sitting in Mumbai today, you'd be talking about having 55 million international customers? Not in my wildest dreams. Um, when we started, it was all DVD by post. And for the first five years, it wasn't clear that we were going to survive. We were competing with Blockbuster, um, trying to rent DVDs. It took you four years to make money? To, of course, at least four years, yeah, until 2003. Um, so that was, those were very challenging years, fun in their way, but challenging. Uh, and then we started in streaming in 2007, in international in 2010. Uh, and now we're really focused on the expanding uh, original content, mm. like this great new series, Sacred Games, that we're producing here in India. So, you know, if it is now going to be all about original content and uh, localization, so to speak, is going to be your way to grow markets like India, uh, what more can we expect? I mean, an $8 billion budget to create content, I believe that's, that's, that's right. the latest number that you're working with. So give me a sense of what we can expect for priority markets like India. Well, of course, there's the global shows we have like Narcos, uh, filmed in Colombia, popular all around the world. We've got a new German original dark. We've got The Crown coming in just another month. Mm -hmm. um, that's Queen Elizabeth and one of the most expensive and elaborate productions ever. We've got Stranger Things, 13 Reasons Why. And then we're adding more and more Bollywood films and then we're adding uh, also sacred games and originals that we're doing um, here in India. So outside of content for India, uh, what can we expect in terms of investments? Because, you know, connectivity is an issue here in India. Low bandwidth is a problem that you're having to deal with, not just in markets like India, but I would imagine other emerging markets uh, that you're operating in. So what more can we expect on being able to grapple with those challenges? You know, we launched in Mexico five years ago, um, which had a relatively slow internet. And it's just accelerated tremendously um, because people want to watch Netflix, YouTube, other, uh, other content sources mm. online, and it's moving to the internet life. And now we see in India, of course, in the last two years with Reliance Geo, just the, the biggest explosion in bandwidth that the world's ever seen. I mean, it's just incredible what's mm. happening here in India. And so now uh, we're trying to, as we go to other countries, saying, hey, uh, an investment like Reliance Geo is transformative for the society. It's just so impressive. Mm. So what, uh, you know, what's unique about India? You're operating across, as I pointed out, 130 mm. different countries. We've established the fact that Indians are public binging. Uh, they're yeah. also probably watching much more on their laptops and mobile phones as opposed to uh, television screens. What else is unique about the Indian market from a Netflix perspective? 
Wow, to have a billion people who love television. That, of I course. Mean, people that are, of are course. just <laughs> wild about entertainment and television. Um, so that's what's so exciting. And, you know, we're still just a very young player. We've only been two years here. Um, but we're going to be doing more and more new shows and new movies, not only for the Indian market, but also for the whole world. So we want to take some of the best of Indian cultural content.